Hey, how's it going guys? Coach Austin here to talk about the low cable curl, the facing away cable curl, whichever you want to call it. So what we're looking to do here is really challenge and load the bicep in that lengthened position. Okay, so this is challenging the bicep in the lengthened position, actually training it in, in that range of motion and in that position, again, just like we talked about with maybe triceps, for example, and training all three heads of the tricep at the same time, loading and training that bicep in the lengthened position is quite a hard thing to do. So when you find an exercise that does it, we wanna be sure that we're mastering it. So that being said, we want to be on a adjustable cable system where Again, a tower system, again, this could be a functional trainer that's, that's adjustable for you. But again, one thing that is going to come into play is this arm path here, okay? So for some people that arm path will naturally be here, some people that have a little bit more muscle tissue, that arm path may be a bit, bit out here, okay? So wherever you naturally kind of fall, you need to be sure that if you can adjust it, that that is really lined up. If you can't adjust it, that's okay. But that being said, you need to be sure you're as close as you can get. Okay, so as we move through this movement, we wanna be sure the, these pulleys are at the very bottom. Okay, so we're, what we're gonna do is grab the handles. Okay, a common mistake here is that actually people take too far of a step out and they actually put a lot of stress either on that elbow or that shoulder joint to actually just resist this backward force here. So what we're gonna do is if we're even with the cable, what we're gonna do is just take one step out here Okay, and then create a staggered stance. We want a staggered stance for stability. Okay, so as this load goes up and we're here, it's gonna be really hard to really keep stability and also it's really easy to then actually curl and create momentum. So if we're in that staggered stance, we're nice and stable, we're in a great position to do work. Now, I, this is a common question. Does it matter which foot is forward? No, it does not. So whichever foot you need to put forward to feel more stable, do that. Okay, so from there, we need to line up. So also another cue or landmark for you to track how far should I step out is we want to envision that that cable is actually lined up with our bicep, if that makes sense. So you'll see as we, as we walk out here, that's no longer going to be lined up. It's going to create more of an angle there, right? So as we're back here, that's actually going to be more lined up and pulling and resisting that bicep in that lengthened position as we talked about in the beginning. So again, take one step out, make sure that we're nice, we're not too far away, okay? Not too far away, create that staggered stance. Another thing, so the next thing would be this elbow or the shoulder position, rather. Okay, the shoulder position needs to be nice and stable and pulled back. So, Create some tension in the upper back. This doesn't mean lock it down and impinge your shoulder, but what it does mean is that we don't wanna be rounded forward. We don't wanna be able to actually move this up here and then use it to actually cheat. So that being said, we need to be sure that there is nice tension in that upper back, that we're nice and stable, okay? And from there, again, with just focusing on elbow flexion. This is a single joint movement. Okay, so as we're all stable, we're nice and stable in our upper back, we're nice and stable in our stance, and we're just going to be flexing at that elbow. Okay, 